Now, I personally do not agree with the three episode rule. The rule that says that in three episodes, if you don't like a anime or a show or whatever, it's probably not for you or it's probably trash, right? Um, I personally don't agree with that rule. However, I do find it interesting as a concept for a video. So we're going to watch the first three episodes of Free Rin's Journey to... The fuck is this called? Hang on. Give me a sec. Free Rin Beyond Journey's End. That's what it's called. We're going to watch the first three episodes of this and see how I feel about it. Whether I want to continue with it or drop the show altogether. What up? It's your boy Darth back at it again with another video. And today we're watching Free Win... Free, free win? Anita Max win free Ren beyond journeys end. That's what it's called. We're just going to call it free Ren. Um, now this is a show that I have, I want to say I've heard a lot about, which is untrue. I've seen people talk about it a lot more than other anime. Now, as far as I know about the anime, I can only infer what the title, you know, says about it, which is it's beyond a journey's end. So I'm going to guess it's like, it's about niggas went on a journey and it ended. Now they're doing stuff after the journey. That's what I think it's about. But I, I needed, I've been out of the anime space for a while and i didn't realize how much i watched anime simply for the channel because once i stopped recording for a bit i was kind of stopped watching anime for a bit as well which is a damn shame because i love anime but now that we're back to recording and stuff like that i can finally stop re-watching old anime and get into some new ones this one being one that i've heard some good things about this one also being at the top of my to be watched list now i'm gonna watch this in sub however usually when i watch stuff alone i, I watch it in dub before the channel i watch i'm gonna watch this in sub uh if you don't fuck with dub fuck you <laughs> but i'm going for this video i'm gonna be watching this in sub i don't have a lot to say about this anime because i don't know what it's about i do know that it's a fantasy anime and it has a girl with white hair that's that's all that's about all i know so i guess with all that being said we're gonna actually watch the show if you haven't already subscribe like comment all the other stuff you're just a lurker i appreciate you too if you have any requests whether it be more free run or something totally different link to the discord is going to be in the description you can join that make suggestions in there or you could just comment it comment whatever suggestion you think i should watch or whatever anime you think i should watch later i've also gotten some suggestions for things that aren't anime so if you have any suggestions that are anime i'm open to hear hearing those as well so i will say we are just watching the first three episodes i don't know for sure whether i am going to continue this uh show on camera or i'll just watch it by myself like i said i'm probably gonna watch this by myself watch i'm probably just gonna watch the dub or some some shit because i i just fantasy anime i like it, it's like my comfort food i like to chill and kind of watch fantasy anime and it's very hard for me specifically to chill and watch an anime if it's in dub because i have to read and i fucking hate reading <laughs> but yes when anime is in sub it's very hard for me to chill and watch it i have to be fully engaged uh with fantasy anime i like to kind of chill with it and watch it so i'll probably finish this in dub however if there are episodes after after the first three that people really want me to react to on camera and stuff like that, you can let me know. If people really want me to continue this show, then maybe we'll figure something out with that as well. For now, we're just gonna watch the first, we're just gonna binge the first three episodes and see where that takes us. So with all that being said, let's get into it. Oh, we starting right off with the, um, the opening. Oh wow. Oh wow. The piano work on that is cold. Hey. Oh, I got a little party. Who did this? The piano work on this is cold. That's crazy. That's crazy. My God. I really like the animation in this. It's kind of unique. It's so. Yari Sobi. Okay, yeah, I knew this sounded familiar. I love the animation in this OP, it's very vibrant. 
Hey, hey. Oof. Damn it, it's. I tell you, Yasobi does not miss. Never miss. Never miss. I was supposed to be reading that. Oh no. You souls gather your eyes open. It's too late. It's too late. I fucked it up. Don't worry. Job returning from. They fighting the demon lord. They about to go fight the demon lord. They already defeated the demon. Okay, they there. Right. Interesting premise. They've already defeated the demon king. Oh, she's an elf. She's gonna outlive all of them. That's kind of sad. I'm going to assume that she's an elf, though. She could be a high, a high elf priestess or some shit that I've never heard of. But yeah, if she's an elf, she's gonna outlive all of them. So I guess that is sad. Oh, we love you. Oh my god. Oh my god, he defeated the demon king. Look at his cock. Look at his cock. PTSD. All right. All right. So this is actually kind of cool. Like it, the the journey literally starts at the end. They've already defeated the Demon King, and all that exciting stuff is over. Which makes me wonder what the rest of this is going to be about. Like second Demon King, or like maybe it's maybe there is no second demon king maybe that's just the premise is that we've already defeated the demon king now we're just chilling which would be cool i, I fuck with that roll credits it took y'all 10 years to defeat the demon king Oh my god. Oh my god, that that henny hitting him. That henny hitting him crazy. That do say had him wobbly. Oh my god. She fell for a mimic trap. Yeah. Alright. They came from humble beginnings for real. Fire. My god. Yeah, they're human. That's a long fucking time. I can kind of see what a bit of the conflict is here in this show. It is She's going to live for a very long time and they're human. So, like, the, that's kind of crazy. It's sad, too. Every 50 years. There's a lot of emphasis on time passing. Next time? How old are y'all now? It's 50 years. This guy will be an old man. <clears throat> most of these people will be, well, uh, not even most. Your entire party will be old and gray by the time that you get to see the next meteor shower, you get to see the next whatever. Oh, what does once in a while mean for you? <laughs> but to y'all, that's a lifetime. It's quite literally a lifetime, which sucks because maybe she doesn't understand. Maybe she doesn't understand what that means. So by the time she comes back, they're old and gray or they're dead. <laughs> so losing track of time is a little. Oh. Losing track of time is a little different for her. I do think this. This. uh, Damn, she just keeps. <laughs> why, she, <laughs> why she keeps <laughs> falling for that shit? You think after one time of having your ass tooted up like a bitch, you would get tired of that, but apparently she's just like, yeah, let's do it again. How long has it been? Did she say next meteor shower? No, but this, um, this artwork is insane. I really like it. 
old fucking man. You're so old. That's insane. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, okay. I see. I see. I see. まあ、つないです。いつか君にこうして返すべきものだったんだ。you bought in your waist, there's no point. Just... <laughs> the gangs are here. Let's go. Also, why did this nigga shrink so fucking much? <laughs> maybe, I was about to say, maybe it's a little further than... Jesus. Oh. I should call the old homies up, bro. I should call the old homies up, bro. Oh, I should call the old homies up. This is crazy. This shit kind of sad. No cap. Bink, goofy. They get to they get to adventure like they used to back in the old days. This shit kind of this shit kind of fire, nigga. Oh man. That's kind of fire, dog. That's that that's That's kind of fire. And it dies out. Yep. Very beautiful. It does, doesn't last for very long. Yep. That's the big homie. Damn. That's crazy. Gang died like a week later. Oh, maybe we don't know it's a week later. Oh, wow. Time or life is very different when time is not a factor. But life is also very beautiful when time is. Because you thought you had the entire world and life ahead of you to learn about it. Thought you had way more time. Here, 10 years, yeah. Fuck, right. oh, I should call the homies up, dog. That's um sucks, man. Sucks. I don't know, it's just... Oh Jesus. It's a divine punishment. Jesus. Yeah, man. Damn, bro, okay. This shit's kind of it's a little shit's a little real yeah everybody's getting old god i hope so i know he's a dwarf but like i don't know man this shit's kind of this shit's kind of kind of hitting a little close man this just i didn't expect that first episode Years after the death of him, the hero. Fuck you! Hey, gang is still up. Hey, good for you. 
Good for you, buddy. An orphan of war. Oh. Or he just grew the fuck up. I mean, that's that's what's up. Take, ah, yep. Take Fern. Well, you don't know that just yet. Resurrection and immortality. Dog. Also, would anybody actually want that? Doesn't everybody want a little bit more time? Doesn't everybody? That's good. When she could do that. I can understand the, the not wanting to take a little girl to her death, or at least possible death. Maybe she ain't so useless. Like I said, you don't, you don't know how good this girl is. Man, blow that shit up! <laughs> Yeah, well. I thought she was about to nuke that shit. That was about to be fire. Pretty sure she likes magic, but I don't know what kind of kind of war it was, but magic probably also killed her parents, so probably bittersweet. Wow. I didn't expect that to be so so such a person. Listen to such a personal. I don't know how to explain it. Like, I expect that to be so not sad, but like refreshing, maybe. Just is that Malay? That's Malay. This is fire too. That that shit that shit kind of hurt. Hit kind of kind of deep. I ain't gonna lie. That shit hit shit hit kind of deep. I gotta call the homies up. No cap. That's all. That's all I took out of that. I gotta call the homies up. I have. A decent amount to say, but I will save it for the end of this marathon. <laughs> Let's get into the to episode two. Is there a way to like rifle your magic? Oh, you got time. Oof. There goes the word. Fucking fly on my bitch. Yeah, nigga. I'm really about that shit. Fuck ass fly. <laughs> Nigga, <laughs> you don't get it. Put some fucking clothes on. My... I like how chill. Nigga, put on some clothes. I like how chill this anime is. Like, and it's like at least once or twice an episode, Free Rin's ass got to be tooted up on, on some wild shit. Four years. Fuck. What I really like about this anime so far is how they treat time. Like it's passing really quickly, but they're not exactly taking it lightly. Oh, they're not taking it lightly at all. Fuck, bro. The gang's dying one by one. Jesus. But she doesn't feel like she has a lot of... Oh, she wants him to see it. Or maybe she just wants him to... Wants to get it done before he dies. Damn. Memories make people. That's crazy. Memories make people even after death. Something we've talked about for a very long time on this channel. So she wants to get it done. 
So it can be a memory for him. Oh my god. This might this this anime might be a lot harder for me to watch than I expect. I didn't expect this, to be honest with you. I I thought, okay, you know, it's a it's you know, it's like a little fantasy anime. You know, we're gonna get into the demon lord and all this other stuff. You know, it's gonna be chill. You no, know, it's going to be going to have nice animation and all this other shit. No, this shit immediately gets into how much time humans have. <laughs> it's gotten into some real, not dark, some real deep shit. Very, very early. In the soundtrack, boy. God damn. I do hope he holds out for at least until it gets done. Yeah. Yeah. If he, uh, yeah. It makes sense. If it actually did contain it, the dude that made it would have been living to this day. But then again, if it did contain immortality, smart man. Gotcha. But yeah, if it did contain the secret to immortality, he still probably wouldn't have used it. If this man was smart enough to create immortality, he would be smart, smart enough to realize it's not great. And it works, because Freerun is not dying anytime soon. Yeah, come on, buddy. Man, I think I'll say goodbye. Goodbyes are a part of life as well. Man. Cause that nigga was a good dude. Yep. Yeah, he was just a good dude. But think about how that, how that cyclically works is that that guy was a good dude therefore when he died in the memories that he passed on to other people and his friends then thought cool nice but the memories that he passed on to his friends then spurred them on to be good people as well and then made memories for younger generations to then probably also be good people then he poured out poured one out for the homie oh shit Good shit. It's my dog. Right, this this anime is pretty. Nigga, what? Thought they were using them bitches as balloons. Also, it's interesting that they do create. Uh, they she collects magic. Oh oh oh! Fuck. <laughs> Sad. That's my dog. You can destroy the Demon King all you want to. Oh my god. There's still evil out there. Oh shit. Hey, that's gang. Oh, maybe this happened while the Demon King was there. Hey, never mind. No way, no way. This nigga is posing. Carve me like one of your pretty French ladies. Man. Ah, uh, cool. Well, I guess we can go. That's that's a new, a new adventure. Well, that's that sucks. Oh, you stealing? Oh hell no! Nah. She's stealing. She's fucking stealing. She, you stole squirrels? <laughs> What? 
Bro, that's a turd twig. That's crazy. There goes number two right there. <laughs> At least two times. At least two times. At least two times. Or what she's thinking is maybe we should just stop. I do wonder um, where the obsession comes from. But it does. Yeah. yeah, she quite literally is more mature than all of us here. Those the seeds. Uh, that's right. Yeah, soon is so different. No, you fucking thief. What if these things produced them? Kind of how like certain flowers show up when field mice are around. Hell, it just doesn't just work with field mice. It works with a lot of species. So... A little bit more than that, I'm sure. Also, it might just be the only way she can connect with. Alright. Nice. <laughs> My niggas is frolicking! That's fine. Bro, no way! <laughs> no way, bro. Oh, it's actually a great reason. Yep. Yep. There it is. There it is. From the blue moon thing. Oh, maybe they just have them. Yeah, maybe they just hid, hid the seed somewhere. Sometimes the answer is as simple as that. Not as beautiful as me. Jesus. There it is. Nice. Nice. All right, cool. That's cool. That's cool. My dog got. They gave my dog his flowers for real. That's respect. Nice. Oh, this show is so like I don't know, bro. Like the show is just show just feels good, you know. Is this this show feels like some this show feels like something I don't think I would have been able to appreciate as much as I can as an adult. I don't know how I explain exactly, but this is a nice feel. This is exact this is why fantasy is my go-to chill kind of kind of watch for me you know like this it's just nice it's just just nice bro like the music sound the music is fantastic the animation love that shit i'm probably gonna finish this shit in about a day i ain't even gonna lie to you probably gonna finish how many episodes does this shit have probably gonna finish this shit in about a day a couple of days what up it's your boy dark Backhead again if you are looking for the full reaction to the first three episodes of this binge I will have that on my Patreon. Link's going to be in the description for that as well. Just wanted to just wanted to make sure that to let everybody know that that hasn't been forgotten about. The Patreon is still there. It will have the full length reaction there. It will be timered full length reactions. 
So no, you won't be able to see the entire anime and shit like that. I, it's never been like that. But for some reason, people think that it, it's never been like that. I don't know one YouTuber that does that. But for some reason, people think, think that that's how it works. That's not. Uh, but the full length reaction timer, whatever is there if you want to watch that. It's on Patreon. I think it's like $5 and get the whole catalog. So yeah appreciate anybody that's supporting the patreon just supporting the channel and all the other stuff appreciate you all right on to the video 27 years after he knows death oh my god 27 bitches boy she about to buy some prime her hmm, what kind of hurt nigga? what you what you slide nigga? you know what i'm saying you gonna, she gonna buy a couple ozs nigga that dissolve what do you need a potion that dissolves clothing for see you gotta go buy weed and afford to waste our travel funds on weed but that's where you're wrong buddy you can and we will saw them saw them praxis <laughs> better go to jared's also in a world like this is an accessory better than bones or oh he oh it's the it's the dealer nigga Damn, she might actually go buy a zip from Freddy in the tavern. That's oh, hold on now. <laughs> she might actually be buying a zip from Freddy in the tavern. What the fuck? Oh, everybody in here high. Oh wow. Any of you niggas, Freddy? Desserts. Mm. A dessert joint? Yeah, yeah. She better buy that ge that gelato. Mm, that cookie. Sugar? Oh no. See ya, buddy. Alright, solid snake. Just pushing a big ass crate isn't. Yeah, you spend all that time being a secret agent. Oh, she. She was really just. Looking for cake? Maybe she just wants to treat Fern to something nice. Dude, I'm good for it. Somebody doesn't change. Yeah. I said it damn near every episode, but I'll say it again. Life is very different. Time isn't a factor. Finds is great. <laughs> there it is. Also means that they learned that spell simply to make his grape sour. Okay. Nice. Just a present. It's just a birthday present. That's that's great. It's good that she's actually taking time to like learn about the people that are in her party now. Well, it's not like she didn't before. I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say she didn't, but like it's it's good that she's taking time to learn people and get to know people, you know. She's making a conscious effort. That's fire, that's fire, dog. Yeah, that's fire. Does it have to? Yeah, like, d does it have to have a purpose? I feel like we're just living life right now. Yeah. I think this speaks, I think this speaks volumes to how life really is. That it, it passes you by so quickly that when you have a time, like, when you have time to actually look back at it all, you kind of want to retrace your steps and enjoy what you enjoyed before when life was going by so fast. Killing magic. Let's learn about killing magic. Oh, wow. Ooh, wanted. Yeah, people aren't going to just attack from the front. Oh, shit. There you go. 
The nice sound effects on the magic. Probably use the defense magic when you're about to get hit rather than to prepare yourself for the hit. So it's going to have to be time like almost like a parry. Unless they're just hinting at that she needs to get stronger with or work her stamina up with using it. But I would assume that the better the better thing to do is to make sure that you're responsive with that type of magic. <laughs> Read to you at bedtime. Well, as far as free when free runs, you are baby. Oh no, the agriculture suffering. Oh my god, I fucking hate spring. Oh my god. Still had faith in you. Oh my god. Oh, he's just chilling right there. That's crazy. Pretty cool demon design, though. That nigga was evil. Won't you eventually become simply too strong? Oh, why he why they sealed him rather than okay, I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> fucking idiot. Oh. oh wow. Fuck. Oh shit, time for the bedtime stories. Oh fuck. Oh shit. You better come back on a hundred. You better come back on a hundred. Oh, he better come back on a hundred. Oh shit. Got to pull up blasting again. Oh, okay, you don't care. Okay, you don't care. That's what's up. Too many. Oh, wow. Here, 80 years. Fuck, man. I'm gonna say dead. Oh, my God. Oh shit. I was about to say. Did magic like keep up to that? Or like catch up to that nigga? Or am I tripping? Magic kept up. To <laughs> magic caught up to that nigga. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, that's tough. Yep. Yep. Yep, they just made more powerful magic. It's been 80 years, dog. That's that's fire. Now it's just pussy shit. Yep. That's cool. Basically saying, simply because they did not have that much time, they caught up to you, buddy. <laughs> oh, shit. No oh, attack with... Oh my god. My god, that nigga. That nigga blasting for real. Oh my god. Up here, pussy. I'm way stronger than before. 80 years stronger. See ya, buddy. Bye. Bye. See ya. Love you. That's what's up. That's a cool way to show, show once again, a passage of time. That things become obsolete. Welcome to the Straw Hats, fuck nigga. Oh. You're the brat that flipped my skirt. <laughs> no way. No way. No way. That's crazy. Sometimes that's all that's all you need.
That's what's up. Was that on, was that his fucking grave or was that just still the? the all right, whatever. I'm I, I choose to believe that he's still alive. <laughs> Knowing this show though, oh man, the show is, is is smart in a way. The show is the show is it's interesting. The it's interesting how the storytelling in this show works. Like I've seen a lot of shows that work with the passage of time. Like let's not act like that's. Like that's a revolutionary, a, a revolutionary thing, you know. It's it's not. It's not. It's not super crazy to do something like that, and to use that as your mode of storytelling in this way. But the way they use the passage of time, it almost makes it feel like that is the the antagonist, but also the protagonist. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it because I, I genuinely have a weird take about this show. We'll talk about it. I have a very what I think is a weird take, but maybe it's general. I don't know. Was that really the was that really three episodes? That did not feel like three episodes. Fuck. That did not feel like three episodes. Let's talk about it. This was an interesting watch. This is a very interesting watch. This is really interesting to me. The entire premise for this show, or at least the premise as I understand it, is really interesting to me. Now, before we get into all that, I do want to get some of the more preliminary things we have to talk about out the way, which is, first off, the music is fantastic. I love the music. It, the OP is, is great. It's, it's a banger, all the other shit. It's fantastic. I love the art style in the OP and stuff, but Yasobi does not miss. I have yet to hear Yasobi miss, and this is another make for them. Now, the music does lend, lend itself really well to how emotionally impactful a lot of the a lot of these moments are, especially when it's a show like this that has very, very little moments, very small moments in the grand scheme of what a fantasy show would, you would assume a fantasy show would be, right? Having those moments of little consequence to like free run be emphasized with the with the musical score and, and conveying how important it is to, to us with that music is a very telltale sign that the music is fantastic. The the animation, I really, really like the animation in this show. I really like the artwork in this show. And a lot of the stuff that I see in this show or a lot of the stuff that I've seen in this show is very pastel. It's very, it's very colorful. Everything looks like it's springtime. Now, the reason why I like, or at least one of the reasons why I like this artwork so much is that the main character in Free Ren is very lackluster when it comes to color. And what I mean by that is that the world around Free Ren is very colorful, but Free Ren herself is lacking such. And to me, even, even with the artwork being so vibrant, I believe that Free Ren looking like the way she does lends itself to the overall message of the show, which is that Freerin herself is not a character. And and hear me out. Hear me out. I really need you to hear me out on. I don't think I guess we're going to get into actually talking about the anime now, but I don't think Freerin herself is a character. Now, before you put before you burn me on the stake, I believe that Freerin is an idea that has character development. Now, what do I mean by it? Sounds really stupid, right? But I think this is the genius of this show is that they gave an idea character development now we know that the idea of this of this um show is time passing it's learning about people it's not taking people for granted it's not taking time for granted and what we get from free Ren is a elf like and, and it's so it's genius i i'm actually really surprised and maybe this has been touched on in other fantasies or isekais or something like that but i i at least have not seen it being handled and tackled in such a such a emotionally smart way and it's that with freerin being an elf her lifespan is incredibly long especially relative to humans so what we get is a damn near immortal being who has partied up with humans, but also has to kind of understand what the passage of time means because she doesn't have a, a reference for that. So why do I call her a, an idea? We start off in the first episode 
with the end of the journey. They've already defeated the Demon King, and it seems like that that's it, right? In a lot of fantasy anime, we kind of start from the beginning, oh, well, not even kind of, we start from the beginning, we build ourselves up, and then we get to the Demon King, right? But if we take that and we continue to roll with it, what do they do after they've defeated the Demon King? The answer is actually really simple. You live life and then you die. For them to add in a character such as Freerin who can get to that journey's end, but then continues to live, right? It's really, it's, it's really smart to me. Um, because for me, the passage of time is is the main character for me. It's the mainstay for me. So when when Freerin is so when Freerin's going through life and he, whether it's with her her party before they defeated the Demon King or after the, they've defeated the Demon King, you can kind of see that she doesn't have a good, not even kind of, you can see that she does not have a good grasp of the passage of time. Because of her damn near immortal being, she doesn't exactly know what how long 10 years is. And in contrast to Free Rin, she has her party members who can actually just tell her 10 years is a very long time. 10 years can be the difference between life or death very easily. To Free Rin, 10 years might be 10 days. Nobody thinks that they're going to die in 10 days. At least not many people think to themselves, oh shit, 10 day from 10 days from now, I might be dead, right? But to Freerin, that's what it feels like. 10 days. So I really like the idea of Freerin being this well, I, I, I'm I was about to hype her up to be a lot more than what she is. But I like the idea of Freerin being an elf and not exactly understanding the passage of time because it's very familiar in, in a lot of our lives. Not just something that Freerin, a immortal elf. Un, like understands and has to go through i think we all go through this in our lives is that is the passage of time even watching that first episode i was like yo i gotta call up the boys like it genuinely made like that first episode genuinely made me feel like i was watching like me and my old my old like high school crew and and them getting into getting into shit and and thinking to myself or thinking about it in my mind and kind of retracing the steps of like how much fun i had with my old friends and stuff like that and you can kind of see the same thing in free room where she is thinking just thinking to herself the time that she spent with with those people were really fun so she kind of retraces it in not just in her mind but also in her daily life really cool way to use the passage of time especially so so early into the so early into the show um now with freerin and her character i also want to point out in the second episode you don't it, it doesn't just stop there with like freerin you know like oh i don't 10 years that's nothing right like if it just if it was just that then eventually it's it's allure would wear off but it doesn't just stop there in fact it there's a lot to freerin that she kind of has to overcome the passage of time isn't just it that isn't the only thing freeman herself has to overcome herself in i don't believe i'm not sure if it was the first episode or the second episode maybe it was the third i think this was the second but freeman to a lot of her friends when they talk about the 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 meteor shower and stuff like that she goes okay i'll come back in the next like on the next meteor shower and we can all watch it together which they were able to, but by the time she got back, her friends were old and gray. One of them died like a week after the, you know? So for Freerin, that it's almost like a, a problem that she has, that the way she sees time is the, the problem, right? And a lot of, I, I think a lot of her friends kind of tried to explain that to her, right? that you you aren't exactly I don't want to say appreciating life but in a way yeah kind of right she's not exactly appreciating life and how much time she has as much as any human would right and it's because we have very short lifespans in relative to someone like Free Freeman right so it it's something that she has to overcome herself but the thing is, is that with all that time, we don't really know how old Freerin is, right? We don't really know how old she is. So with all that time, I would assume it's hard to break the habit. How do I explain this? Let me explain this in a way 
that I'm sure a lot of people can understand. I know that plenty of people have friends, especially if in, in adulthood, plenty of people have friends who they have not seen in months, years, right? Whenever we convene with those friends and we hang out, uh, you know, after our four months, six month year hiatus, we always say to ourselves or to that friend, we should do this again sometime, right? And we should do this again sometime. Sometimes simply means we'll do this in the, in the next six months. We'll do this again in the next year or so, right? But who's to say that, unfortunately, those people have another six months? Who's to say, unfortunately, that you have another year to wait to reconvene with those friends right so a lot of people have this problem of this problem that they're constantly trying to solve of i should get back to these people like quicker right i've had that problem i'm sure that a lot of people have had that problem especially in adulthood you will always like damn near always have that problem of i should get back to these people quicker and for freerin she has that problem only it's to an to an extreme which is why i see freerin as an idea that has character developed. And for me personally, I've had a lot of friends that I haven't been able to see anymore. I've had a lot of friends that I have been able to see more than I, I did before. I've had a lot of friends who I can't see anymore because they're fucking dead. And that's the reality that hits you. And that's the reality that I would assume hit Freerin when uh, Himmo died, I think that's his name. Freerin has a problem with understanding how much time beings have on this earth. But I believe when Himmel died, it almost kind of woke her up because even I was, I didn't exactly know what to say, right? She just kind of breaks down at his funeral and is like, I never got to, I never learned, you know, I never learned much about him. I never got to know him for real. And it's because Freerun herself, it's its nothing crazy. It's just that Freerun herself, she thought she had more time. Freerun isn't, Freerun isn't like some extremely complex character. I don't think she is. I think Freerun's just somebody who has a lot of time on her hands. And when Himmel dies, he realizes that just because she has a good amount of time on her hands doesn't mean that other people do and i would at least for me i would assume that after that she does try a little harder now granted it's <laughs> it was instead of 50 years it was 20 years and she went to go uh hang out with uh uh hider uh heater something like that i don't know how to say his name call him hider but in 20 years she goes and hangs out with hider now that's a bit better right it's a little bit better. She is it before it was 50. Now it's 20 and she and she's making a conscious effort. Like I said, uh, while watching the, the show, she's making a conscious effort to actually get to know people and go see people. And while to us, we could we could see that and be like, oh, you, 20 years. Oh, my God. Come on, man. You you couldn't have came back in in, in a year and five years at, at least. Come on, man. You No, but that's a big step for her that's a that's a huge step for her which is why i say free run is an idea with character development right it's a huge step for her because now she's now instead of that 50 years it, it cuts down to 20 maybe the next time it cuts down to 10 but instead we get a instead we get uh the introduction of fern which to me is kind of cool uh fern is kind of cool um because it's for one, it feels like Fern is going to be our new barometer for where Freerun is in her development. But also Fern is a good way to introduce how, not just how time, the passage of time affects people, but it then introduce, introduces how the passage of time affects society. Now, Fern is a <laughs> Fern is a orphan of war, <laughs> which is crazy because when they defeated the the Demon King, everybody was like, "Oh, it's a it's a new age for peace, you know? It's going to be it's going to be great, you know? It's fantastic." But there's still war. Like people still run off and kill each other, you know? And it kind of shows you that even though 
even though your journey does come to an end, maybe your journey does come to it. You defeat the demon king or you you accomplish whatever goal you set you set out to accomplish. The world keeps turning. People keep being people. And even though that negativity, even though that problem was solved, life creates more problems. But that's unfortunately the way that life works for a lot of people. Life simply creates more problems and this is a good way to kind of show that is that yes you defeated the demon king war still exists <laughs> you know people people still have problems outside of your you know your accomplishments your your goals that you may have accomplished so i really i really like the introduction of fern for that reason to show you know to show hey shit, shit's still happening but outside of that, we get we get a bit of a dark concept with Heater, Heater, Hyder, whatever his name is, where Freerun asks Heater if he's afraid of death. Doesn't answer. Doesn't answer exactly. But he Freerun does get an answer after the 20 years of going to go, you know, after 20 years and he goes, she goes to uh, visit uh, Heater. Jesus fucking Christ trying really hard to to keep all these names in my head and that's that he's very afraid of death as everybody is the first thing that you would come up with when somebody asks you are you afraid of dying most likely going to be yes I am afraid of dying because everybody is but that's kind of it's kind of what gives human beings so much power is that they die it's one of those it, it reminds me of a quote and I won't I won't quote it verbatim because I will butcher it. But it reminds me of a quote from Full Metal Alchemist where Ed's mom tells Hohenheim that humans are weak and they and they die and they break and all the other shit. And that's what makes them strong is that they are weak, that they don't have much time on Earth. And when Hyder, Eater, whatever, um explains to freeman that yes he is very afraid of death and that's why he knows that immortality does not exist because if this guy wanted if this guy came up with the solution to immortality or a longer life he would still be here but he's not because well to me it's it's one of two things because he there simply is not something like that or he did find it he did he did figure he was smart enough to figure out the answer to immortality but he's also smart enough to know that immortality ain't great for himself nor is it great for the the greater good i guess the 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 people it's not good for people to live forever I, I, hell even freeran probably won't live forever she just lives for a very 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 long time so i i like i like the the nods to real world like real world real simple problems that humans have every day death time passages of time and stuff like that um we even go go as far as to show the ingenuity of humans because they don't have much time on earth when they when they go to himmel's old village and they have like the demon and the demon they're like oh you know yeah this killing magic you know it was crazy wow dog you know it, it, it would just kill it as soon as it touched you disintegrated you're dead right and because that was such a devastating spell because it was so dangerous because it was so deadly humans very quickly very quickly found a way to counteract that that is something that once again we see in our real lives right because there are things in this world that are very deadly things that people have come up with that inventions that people have come up with that are very deadly back in the day and because those things were so deadly people very quickly found either cures for it or deterrence for it guns people came up with vests or came up with with different armors and, sh and shit like that different sicknesses people very quickly will come up with antidotes and 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 Im immunizations and stuff like that because we we don't have much time and things like that that shorten our time even quicker <laughs> those are the things that we are very very quick to solve 
because we don't have much time. It's the ingenuity of humanity simply because we don't have much time. It's all just really, really fucking cool. It's all just really fucking cool. A couple things that I want to like kind of throw out there is Freerun's collection of spells and also how this show handles like memories and stuff like that. I don't have much to say on it, but uh, what I will say is that I really like the way that they handle this because it's something that would that I really liked about uh, To Your Eternity, which is how memories memories create people. It, uh, it's like I said, it's something that we have talked about on this channel for a very, very long time. For as long as this channel has been a thing, I think we've always talked about that, how memories create people. With Hyder, he does what he does at that old age because he knew Himmel. Himmel was a great guy, fantastic guy. And he inspired, and the memory of Himmel inspired Hyder to be a better person. He stopped drinking. He decided to save Fern and, and things like that, right? And thus, the memory of Hyder, when, when he passes, goes on a fern and fern decides to go off and do whatever the fuck she's doing with with free rent i always like that that theme in shows because it's it's cyclically beautiful that people don't actually die as long as they are remembered and as long as they are remembered a little piece of them goes along to the next person and eventually the greater whole of humanity, right? And Freerin, to me, almost represents a bit of that when she collects spells. Freerin is, as we've said many a times, Freerin's going to live for a very long time. And a lot of the ingenuity of humanity, a lot of, a lot of the beauty of humanity is in what we create. And these spells are another thing that we can see as the ingenuity of humanity or the create you know the advancement of humanity and some of these things are very simple things freerun doesn't just collect really powerful spells freerun collects spells that turn sweet grapes sour freerun collects spells that bloom flowers or clean statues and shit like that and to me the reason maybe not the reason why but what i kind of infer from that is freerun being the character that she is or the idea that she is is kind of doing the same thing that you would do with memory you take them and you take them they you pass them on right you take them into the greater whole of life right it's it's kind of like these spells are almost like memories of other people to me at least you know um and maybe i'm way off base with that but i i feel like that that's kind of like how i see these very worthless spells right is that these are these are important to somebody these were important to somebody and for for free and some of these are more important than others i don't know man it's just really cool the way that they handle these very real world problems in such a fantastical show and that's why I, that's why i said while watching this while watching the show this seems like it's a show that i could only truly appreciate as an adult right this is all shit that you very much deal with as not not just as an adult i mean like any time in your life like you will very you will very much deal with it deal with this type of stuff in some way shape form or fashion it's just that free run kind of represents the idea of adulthood in a lot of ways because even with that old age she's like well free run's just more mature than us you know it's 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 a really cool way to tell your story through the eyes of an immortal i i don't know it, it's it's just a really cool it's just a really fucking cool a really cool mode of storytelling man this is this is a really good this is a really good one i i'm i'm definitely gonna finish this one. now like i said whether i'm gonna finish this on camera or not th this is probably something that i'll binge pretty quickly <laughs> pretty quickly and i'll like i said before i'll probably watch the dub guys he's gonna watch the dub oh my god the dub is it's so fucking disgusting shut up you're doing more harm to the to the anime community than you but this was a fantastic show um i really enjoyed the met i really enjoyed the message so far I really enjoyed the I really enjoyed the character and idea of Free Ren. I'm sure there's stuff that I that I missed and I haven't gone over. This was really good. This was really this is really really good. I see 
why this show has so much acclaim. I see why this show is so so important to people because before watching this, I saw a lot of people talking about how important this the show was to them. The only thing that I knew about the show was that it had a fantasy setting. All this time I'm wondering, well, what makes this show so important? But I can see why. Because a lot of, I'm sure that a lot of people watch this show and have that same thought that I that I had at the beginning. I should call my friends again. I should check up on people. Like I should see I should see how people are doing more often because time can pass very quickly. And if memories are people and people are memories, then I should be making more of them. I think that might be, at least for now, might be what the show is about. You should be learning more about people. You should be appreciating people more. You should be appreciating the time that you have more. And you should be doing more so when your time comes, you can become a memory too. And a fantastic one at that. And when other people's times come, they become memories as well. Who's really dead if they're remembered, right? This was a real. This was really good. This was really good. I I could probably rant about this for another thirty minutes, but I'm trying my best to not be the anime community's number one yapper. Which, I mean, I think I already got that title. To no cap, no cap. But this was fantastic. This was a fantastic show. I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to say um fantastic show i will definitely be watching the rest of this uh like i said i'm probably not on camera however if there is like a specific episode where that somebody's like oh yo you got it but you gotta react to this episode dog the shit goes fire i'll probably i'll probably do this the same way that or at least i'll probably treat this the same way that i did black clover where like i would just revisit it every now and then on like an episode where somebody's like yo dog this episode you gotta react to i'll probably do that but other than that this was good if you haven't already subscribe like comment all that other stuff you're just a lurker i appreciate you too if you have any requests whether it is more free in or something totally different the best place to send that in always um my social media or discord really would enjoy uh really would like uh people to join the discord it's a good place to give suggestions or just comment below that's cool too um but yeah this was this was great i don't know how many times i i, I can say that but this was fantastic just try your best to appreciate the time that you're allotted try your best to appreciate the time that other people your friends and family are allotted and if that time is not exactly there anymore for those people, I hope those memories are somewhat of a comfort for you. So y'all stay amazing, stay safe, take care of yourselves.